In the words of Keyshawn Johnson, Deion Sanders, and a lot of sports analysts at ESPN, come on, man. What in the world is Emmanuel Cleaver, dare I say, an ordained pastor from the United Methodist Church saying when he closes this opening prayer with the congressional meeting? His prayer, I don't want to go ahead and get copyright uh, infringements, if you will, but I'm just going to read the closing of it. He says, we ask it in the name of the monotheistic god Brahma and gods known by many names, by different faiths, a man and a woman. What? What in the world does man and woman have to do with the closing of a prayer, amen? This is just complete ignorance and lack of, this is stupidity. This is flippin' stupidity. Why are we bringing gender neutrality into words that have nothing to do with flipping genders? The word amen simply means let it be of a truth, verily. It's actually a Hebrew word that's pronounced amen. And so this is the stupidity that we're finding in American culture today that we want to bring gender into every discussion. And so now we want to appease everybody to make everything gender inclusive. No more, no more are they trying to push the fact of we close a prayer and amen. Now it's a woman. Or what about a people? Does this mean we got to change a lot of our words? What about manuscript? Does it have to be woman script? What about manipulation? Is that now woman manipulation? Or what about manslaughter? Woman slaughter? Or what about mental health? Woman health? You see, all this seems nonsensical and somewhat comical to you, but this is what's happening now. They're trying to bring gender neutrality into words that have zero to do with gender. And then in their closing prayer, when this supposed United Methodist pastor wants to pray to the God of Brahma, Brahma is a Hindu false God. To the Hindus, Brahma is a God who created the world, the cosmos. He wants to close in prayer to Brahma and other gods known by many different names and different faiths. Again, this is what we're seeing in culture today. You want to try to appease everybody and please everybody, but by trying to please everybody, you're actually pleasing none. Because by telling the Hindus and praying in the name of Brahma, but yet including other gods, now you're offending the Hindus. Same thing with Muslims, and the same thing with people like me, Christians. There's only one true God, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, the Bible. But yet we're seeing this push in American culture, and it's such a stupid, illogical, nonsensical thing that is happening. But yet we as Americans, we're just sitting idly by, passively by, thinking this is not, you know, no big deal. Change doesn't happen over, overnight. Change happens subtly, slowly. And these are the things that are happening from the top down, trying to change all this stuff. It's a shame that we have to stand up for common sense, for logic, and saying, no, you, you don't close a prayer. I don't care what faith you're in. You don't close a prayer with ah men and ah woman because the word has nothing to do with genders.